Hello, it's The Ghost. Welcome to A Stranger World Than Fiction, where we are taking a look at what's all going on out there and what others are claiming to be true. And as truth finders, we are trying to find answers. Today, I want to look at something that isn't new, but that we don't seem to have an answer to. What I'm wondering is, will the truth ever get out there? It's been out there for a long time, that crash in Roswell, 1947. We hear a lot of news about it, and people have a lot of ideas about it. But I want to know in today's world, those that really and truly have an interest in alien beings and those visiting us from somewhere else, what do you really think about that Roswell incident? Take a listen to these shares, and let's see if, as a group, we can come to some sort of conclusion. Okay, this comes to us from The Sun newspaper, and it's recent, May of 2021. This says the truth is out. Ex-Army officer admits he saw alien the size of a 10-year-old child. And we're thinking Roswell. Okay, that's a long time ago, fairly long time ago, and don't we have that figured out already? Well, it's still being talked about, which should tell you something. Let's see what this ex-Army officer has to say and if we find it to be true. Okay, so this says, A former Army press officer revealed he saw the body of a beat-up alien the size of a 10-year-old child after the Roswell UFO crash. For the first time, the press officer for Roswell Army Airfield First Lieutenant Walter Hout recalls his encounter with the UFO and an alien body that had been found lifeless at the crash site in Roswell, New Mexico. Hout drafted the military's original press release on the 1947 UFO crash, which made international news. But the Army Air Force quickly changed their story and said it was just a weather balloon. And guys, I already know that we have talked about Roswell. Many people have talked about what happened on the day of that crash. But anytime someone recent comes up with more to say, I think it's worth checking out. All right, let's continue. In the interview with The Sun, Hout says, to the best of my remembrance, there was one body. It was relatively small, comparable, maybe to a 10 or 11 year old child, and it was pretty well beat up. He said he could not remember the color as it was so many years ago. In a signed affidavit Hout made before his 2005 death, he also shared with the son, I am convinced that what I personally observed was some type of craft and its crew from outer space. And things he had said have been kept under wraps. And that was from 2000 until now. And then let's move over to the Pentagon. They admitted to holding and testing wreckage from UFO crashes in a bombshell Freedom of Information letter shared with The Sun back in February. One researcher says that the stunning admission confirms the extraterrestrial nature of the infamous Roswell crash. There was talk about different objects shaped like eggs, metallic surfaces, and the fact that the object had no windows, portholes, wings, or landing gear. Hout reported also that he was able to see a couple of bodies under a canvas, saw only the heads extended beyond the covering, and that he was not able to make out any of their features. The heads did not appear any larger than normal. However, the body appeared to be the size of a 10-year-old child. There's talk about storing the bodies temporarily, taking pieces of the wreckage. Hout goes on to say that he was aware of two teams, they kept returning to the site months after to still collect remaining evidence. And that he is convinced that this was all part of some type of craft and a crew from outer space. And all the things that he said, the statement he signed also puts out there that his statement is to remain sealed and secured until the time of his death, at which that time his surviving family can determine what to do next. It was clearly an affidavit before his death stating what he saw from outer space. Now why his remaining family after his death can decide what to do with it all, but he can't? That's a question we should consider. The information that he had put out was previously only viewed by a very small circle of researchers, as well as his family members. 
But now, so they say, given all the new information on UFOs that's coming out, they felt the time was right to let everyone see it. A confession, if you will, of the nature of that Roswell crash. This share states, The recent release of the Pentagon UFO Debris Test Results papers, with its inclusion of technical papers on memory metal like what was found in the debris at Roswell, combined with this testimony from Hout, makes the incident even more likely to have been ET related. I mean, let's face it, this crash has been getting media attention, attention from everyone from around the world for years. When is it that the truth will finally be set free, let out for all to know for sure? Don't you think it's something that just as the people of this planet, we finally deserve to know? Well, this goes on to add that Hout was seen as a trusted community member and he was reluctant to tell his story for years. And that makes sense because the minute you start talking about this with anyone in the mainstream or you go public, what do people think? They think that maybe you're a little bit off, maybe you're an alien dreamer, and they kind of discount you, don't they? But okay, now with the voice stress analysis, they say they know that what he finally did say about the event before he passed was indeed truthful. And this brings up another good point. If everyone's so spectacle, where are all the lie detector tests and things like that? Wouldn't that help solve some of this? But it never really seems to be solved, does it? At least not to us. In another share, History.com puts it out there. In American UFO history, few incidents have inspired as much fascination and speculation as the one in Roswell, New Mexico. But behind all the UFO mania lies an uneasy truth. The events that transpired that summer are anything but clear-cut. There are admitted cover-ups and conflicting explanations Some say it was a saucer. Some say it was a spy craft. Hey, it was even the Soviets. And even over all of this time, though we can't decide on a truth, even more ideas are still emerging. So what is the truth and where does it end? And I know, guys, the Roswell crash, Area 51, these are subjects that don't ever seem to go anywhere. But it doesn't hurt to stop every now and then and say, hey, well, here we are in our lives today. What do we think of it all? We seem to be more knowledgeable now more than ever. So what do we think really went on? Do you think anything happened? Do you think there was an alien there? Why would we need to cover it up? And will we ever know the truth? And after all this time, is it even something you care to know? Or has it been talked about so much that we just disregard it these days? Any of you that have listened and gotten to know my true stories of our jobs, me and the team over on our other channel, They Call Me the Ghost, you know what I think already. But I want to know what the general people think out there, given everything that they've learned over time. So share your thoughts. Let me know. And thank you for listening. And I will talk to you all soon. (laughs) 